the gun shit is expensive what's up god gang they got checking back in with another video i know it's been a minute it's been about a week since i uploaded that is a long time for me i just want to say thank you for coming back to the channel clicking on the video today's video y'all was right man i fucked up y'all was right you know what i'm saying you was right and i was wrong okay let me tell you what y'all was right about so as i'm getting into the gun world and starting to add accessories to the guns and everything mind you everything's unloaded we load it but we are unloaded if you see what i'm saying so got my glock 19 gen 4 and the mck kit uh you already seen this if you haven't seen it go check back on the channel uh i go a lot more in depth on this build right here but y'all was right as far as the flip up sights i did have them on backwards let me know is this the correct way to have the flip up sights for some reason, I thought that this part right here will go inside. To me, that makes more sense for this part to be flipped around and this part to be flipped around. I had them on backwards, but as y'all told me all in the comments, roasting me, killing me, that they were on backwards and I actually looked at them, they, they were on backwards. I did, uh, when I put these things on, I never really like, paid attention. I never looked at any other videos or flip up sites. The flip up sides is kind of new to me. Uh, but if you look at it, it shows. Fuck, I don't even know if you can see it. Like I said, we all unload it. It's not really pointing at me. I don't know if you can see it, but it does show like the little, uh, the adjustments right here and uh, right here, if you can kind of see that. So, yeah, I was right. I was wrong. Uh, if you remember, I did have the red dot on here. I went ahead and took that off. I just put the flip up sides on there. Oh, this gun just sits in a safe. Sometimes this is a EDC. Of course, not inside the kit. Sometimes I would, um, let me go ahead and show you. So to take the, take the gun out of the MCK kit, I gotta just push down on the button, pull this down. You can't just pull it. That's where I fucked up a lot. Uh, when I first got this damn kit, you can't just pull it out. This thing's locked in place. You gotta push down on these black levers. Now I can slide it out and you just pull it down. So sometimes I had a comment the other day. Oh, what is my EDC? Sometimes this is my EDC with the. Oh, fuck. See, man, I'm bad. Gun's getting dinged up. Sometimes this is my EDC, just like this. And uh, just a little standard holster. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the paint on there. Let me know. I can do a video on how I did this. Real simple. But, uh,. Yeah, somebody asked me about my EDC. Sometimes it's this, sometimes it's my Taurus uh, G2. Uh, I'm just showing y'all, giving y'all a little update on, you know what I'm saying, what I've been doing to the guns. Put this thing back up in here. Yeah, yeah here, click in place. Put this fat back down. Push it forward. You'll see the little red, uh, the little red notch letting you know it's locked in place. Ooh, I almost racked it back. Don't want to do that. So, yeah. I wish I could carry this EDC, leave it in the car or something, but a lot of people breaking in cars and shit like that, but sometimes it just sits in the safe like this. Man, I do want to have a, a, a car gun or a truck gun. That's what everybody calls it, a truck gun, but I don't have a truck. I got a, I got a sports car. I got an American Muscle uh, Challenger, 2018 Challenger RT Plus. Uh really don't want to leave a gun sitting inside my car uh a lot of people breaking in cars and shit and i really ain't got the time to have somebody breaking in my shit still in a nice gun nice setup and then using it you know what i'm saying using it on an innocent person so yeah i was right about the flip up sights went ahead and swapped those out swapped them around man i love this gun i need to take it out and do some videos on me shooting uh also like I said, we load it, but we are unloaded at the same time. Uh, GSG MP MP5 clone. Like I said, clone MP5 chambered in 22. Uh, I used to have this same red dot on my MCK kit. Went ahead and took that off since I got the flip ups on it. I feel like it looks better on this gun. It looked good. It looked good on the MCK kit, but I like the way this this like little package is set up too. 
you got the adjustable stock uh, three positions mice can really get up on it get some shots uh, but with the red dot you can't see through the the uh, the sights of course but I mean hell you don't really need to I can take it off whenever I want to I love this guy let me know if y'all uh, let me know how y'all feel about this with uh, the fake suppressor this is an extended barrel I believe they call it the GSG 16 because it's a 16 inch barrel the barrel comes all the way out you can see it right there uh, man, I love this gun it used to have more rails on the side the side rails I went ahead and took those off I like the way it looks and if you remember go back and look at my other videos I used to have uh, a flashlight laser at the front that was for a pistol it was actually for my Glock 19 fitting my Glock 19 perfect I went ahead and took that off and uh, put it on my Ruger I'm gonna show you my Ruger next but I just want to show you what I've done to this and all I did was add the red dot take off the the flashlight laser combo that was on the front go check it out in my other videos to see what I'm talking about nice package right here but here's what I took off of uh, the GSG you can see how it looks yeah this is a big ass fucking gun and it's all the way back I feel like it looks better all the way to the back than to the front and I know don't even roast me I know this is too small for this gun I'm just using parts of what I had using just moving stuff around trying to find the best setup of what I got trying to ball on the budget you know what I mean uh this is actually a nice little green dot with the flashlight the flashlight is pretty bright and it's got the strobe uh you do get a little shadow from the top of the barrel but at night time this is plenty of enough light this is a real bright light I don't know the exact specs on this right here I remember I got this off of Amazon for like $65, $70. So this is it's actually a good quality uh, laser light combo. But like I said, it was for the Glock 19. It might look kind of odd on here, but I actually like the way it looks. Thinking about getting the red dot for this bad boy, I'm just, like I said, balling on the budget. I got a four-bedroom house. I got two cars. I got a wife. I got two kids, two dogs. So, And I am the breadwinner, so I'm doing the best I can to keep building my collection trying to accessorize it and keep growing on the channel but you gotta understand where i'm coming from the gun shit is expensive i see everybody else on youtube with some nice sick shit there's a buddy who i've been talking to in the comments i know you're gonna watch this uh fuck i can't remember your name right now but i seen dude got 10 ARs. So i'm like damn dude how the fuck you afford that shit i can't afford it yet but i'm gonna be there youtube help me out pay me uh, keep watching all my videos. I'm trying to get monetized this year. Man, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. That way I can keep pumping out videos, keep doing everything. But, yeah, I'm just ranting. Uh, I love the way this gun looks. Rate this on a on a 1 through 10, which I think about the Ruger 5.7. If you don't know about the Ruger 5.7, ooh, now you know. You get the ammo from Palmetto State Armory because nowhere locally has a 5.7 round. 5.7 round is, is actually a, a odd round. Uh, not a lot of places have it on stock. Uh, I even tried, uh, I live in Kentucky, I even tried Kentucky Gun Co. They didn't have it in stock when I was looking for it. They actually opened up a new location uh, not too far from my house. I need to go there, check them out. I love this gun right here. And another thing that I want to show you guys. Oh, while I'm speaking of Kentucky Gun Co. Yeah, not in Kentucky. Go, uh, if y'all not in Kentucky, go on YouTube, look at Kentucky Gun Co. Man, they got some nice shit. They got a YouTube channel, big YouTube channel. They got a big store. Uh, they had a store, I think it was Bardstown, Kentucky. That's kind of a little bit of ways for me. It's about a 45-minute drive for me where I live at. They opened up a new location 20 minutes away, so I'm going to have to check that place out. And the Delton DTI. Uh, my last video, I was talking about the the uh, rear flip up sight I couldn't co-witness through the, the red dot up top uh, so I just went ahead and took that off and I was telling y'all that the red dot as it sits it's too low with the rear flip up sight the rear flip up sight uh, was showing let me go ahead and unload this it's not loaded but just so that you guys know unload it uh the rear flip up sight 
it was showing all the way up at the top. So to have the rear flip up sight with this, uh, how it's positioned right now, it was pointless. So I went ahead and ordered a riser to raise this up so I could still co-witness. And it, uh, what's the correct word? It, it, it raised it too high. And that was a three quarter riser. I don't know why I picked three quarter. I probably should have picked a half inch or a quarter inch riser to just lift it up a little bit. I lifted it up a little bit too much. But uh, honestly, I like the way this looks, uh, how it's set up right now. I might, if I ever feel like it, uh, spend the extra 10 or 15 bucks to go ahead and order another um, another riser to, so I could co-witness and maybe get another red dot for the, uh, the MCK. But uh, I'm loving the way this is set up right now. Uh, somebody said it's got a lot going on. I mean, yeah, it kind of does. It doesn't really need the, the laser on it. It doesn't really need the flashlight. But when I ordered this gun, it came with the red dot, uh, with the laser and the flashlight. So I'm going to keep it on there. Uh, you can see I painted it. And uh, somebody was hating in the comments talking about the Delton DTIs. Man, fuck what you're talking about. This is a good gun. I mean, yes, yeah, a budget gun. I mean, it's a five six hundred dollar AR fifteen, but if it does the exact same as a, I can't even say that it don't do the exact thing, the exact same thing as a as a Daniel Defense or something like that. But it's still a a good gun and it'll do the job. I mean, I'm not into competition shooting. I'm not shooting long range. Uh, not really thinking about SHTF. Uh. I just wanted a good AR-15 to, to defend myself, defend my family if I need to, push comes to shove, uh, just something to have fun with at the range. Don't have a lot of money to invest in a $1,000 AR-15, a $1,500 AR-15, or $2,000 AR-15, but I did have about 600 bucks to invest in my first AR. But like I said, as the channel grows and as I grow, uh, you know what I'm saying, of course, financially, I will get better quality uh, guns, gun parts, more upgrades, a lot of more aftermarket stuff. But, I mean, this gun is actually set up pretty good with all the Magpul furniture. Uh, like I said, I bought this gun and completely decked out. Uh, I did take off the big-ass uh, 10 by 42 scope that they had on top. Uh, took it off recently, and that's why I ordered this off Amazon. So I just love the way this gun is set up. Uh, let me know what would be a good flashlight. I mean, this is a nice flashlight. It's got like three different modes. It's got bright, uh, low, uh, like a low dim setting. And then it's got the, um, what do you call it, the strobe. Uh, yeah, this is a standard red dot. Not really tripping on that. Red dot used to be on the side. I went ahead and put it at the bottom because it, it can kind of, it, it, it's, it's in line with the barrel. Uh, on the side, of course, it was, it wasn't in line with the barrel. Uh, let me know what would be a good trigger to put on this guy. I was thinking about putting on one of those uh, WTOs, the wide open triggers, but right now that's not looking like uh, not looking like a good idea. If you don't know about the, the wide open triggers, go ahead and look those up. It's pretty much, from what I understand, is it's a, it's a drop-in trigger, but it can shoot really fast. I'm not going to say it's fully automatic, but it can shoot really fast. I believe it has like a... A hard reset, like a spring reset or something in that. I mean, trust me, y'all can uh, correct me on that. Uh, it helps the gun shoot a lot faster. I think it has like a, a, a shorter, when you pull it, I think it's a little bit shorter. I mean, hell, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just over here ranting. Uh, let me know if I should, if there's any like good triggers that can help me shoot this thing a lot faster. I'm not going to say full auto. But help me, uh, help me get this gun to shoot fast. So this is gonna be, uh, since this is my first AR, this is gonna be, you know, what I'm saying my my playing AR. This is gonna be my my building AR. I'm a I'm a deck this thing out, and then my next AR I might do an AR pistol, or um, like a a, a AR ten or three hundred eight. I do something like that. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've done to the collection. That tan mag tell me this thing don't look sick. I'm gonna keep turning this red dot on. So yeah, I like the way this gun looks. I don't know how to paint or show up on the camera. It actually looks really good in person. I even did it's on fire. Got it on. Uh, got the thing on red. Uh, so let me know what you guys think, man. This is Day God checking in and checking out. Just wanted to. Oh, can't even get that motherfucker. Just wanted to go ahead and do a little video since it's been a while since I did a video 
And I just want to say thank y'all for helping my channel grow. I gained a lot of subscribers fast. To me, these videos know it's only a couple hundred subscribers. Man, I appreciate every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all watching all the videos, liking, commenting. Let me know. Put me on game in the comments. You know what I'm saying? And refer me to other videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm still growing with this. I do watch a lot of videos, but I can only retain so much information when I got a lot going on, if you know what I mean. I can't remember every fucking thing. Uh, but yeah, put me on game in the videos, in the comments. Let me know who uh, who got some good shit, who got cheap shit, that's good quality. Uh, and I guess that's it, man. Remember, stay safe, stay protected, God gang, and you know what I'm saying? We out. Peace.